Welcome back everybody. Today we're here to talk about The Walking Dead Season 11 Episode 15. Uh, this was a really good episode. It was more of a, I mean, there was a lot of character moments as well, like a talking episode. And that's not a bad thing, let me just clarify. Because sometimes I notice I say that in my reviews, like I say it's like a talking episode. That's not a bad thing at all. Like, that's, that's that's actually a great thing sometimes. And sometimes I prefer, um, you know, the talking episodes where we get to learn more about the characters and we get character interactions and moments like that because the action is always going to be there. It's The Walking Dead. Uh, but for me, I love the talking episodes. In this one, we had a lot of great moments between characters. Um, and we're going to talk about the whole episode, obviously. Um, but obviously, I want to give a general spoiler warning in case you have not seen the episode. Uh, because remember, uh, this is episode 15, the early premiere on AMC+. So if you have not seen it on AMC+, spoiler warning. Um, and for those who have seen it, let me know in the comments down below what did you think about it. Um, and yeah, uh, so let's, I guess we can get into it now since I gave my spoiler warning. And, um, and like I said, overall I really enjoyed this episode. Um, there was a lot of great character moments between all the characters. Um, you know, like Princess and Mercer, Ezekiel and Carol. You know, lots of great stuff at the hilltop. Uh, so I guess we'll take it from the top. Uh, where the episode started off, and we had a, a Princess and Mercer. Um, there was a lot of Princess and Mercer epi uh, moments in this episode, which makes me worry. And they were all great moments, even like Mercer and um, you know Stephanie, his sister. That scene was also great in the gym. Uh, they have great chemistry, by the way, those two actors. Um, you know, like I really believe they were brother and sister, so they had great chemistry. You know, just the way they were talking to each other. It's something like, you know, like how you would talk to your sibling. I mean, in my opinion, I just felt like, you know, it really felt like they were really brother and sister. Uh, but yeah, so Princess and Mercer, they had a lot of scenes in this in this episode, which makes me worried, you know, watching the show for this long. You know, when you when you when characters get moments like that, it makes me worried because I feel like it makes me worried that something bad will happen to one of them. Hopefully nothing does. Hopefully they're both going to be OK. But I do really like that relationship. Uh, you know, between Princess and Mercer. Um, and then, yeah, Ezekiel and Carol, they also had some great scenes in this episode. It was nice to see Ezekiel because it's been a while since we've seen him. I mean, not a while, but there just hasn't been much of him in Part B, uh, which makes sense for the story because he was, like, healing in the hospital. Uh, but, you know, that scene with him and Carol was great. Um, you know, they got Yumiko, uh, Yumiko's brother to help out. Somebody was injured, uh, you know, working at the, at the, I think it's, oh, well, it was like the vet, right? Because they had the zoo and then they had the vet behind it. So uh, they were working at the vet, I think, and somebody needed help. And uh, Yumiko's brother helped out with that. So that was cool. Um, and then we had the Maggie stuff as well. So the Maggie and Hilltop stuff was like the pretty, it was like the big part of the episode. Leading up to it, it pretty much picked up where episode 14 left off. And Lance was trying to figure out like what happened to the Commonwealth soldiers. He was questioning why only Gabriel and Aaron was alive. And Lance, let me just tell you, like Lance is so scary to watch. He's also, uh, Josh Hamilton does a great job playing him. So he's also extremely entertaining to watch. But there's something with his eyes. You know, he has like this stare. You know, like when he when he sent Gabriel and Aaron to go kill the walkers. And then like the camera just like focused on Lance, right? Like and his eyes were like whitening and he has like this little grin on his face. Like so creepy. Um, and then also at the hilltop where he's like questioning Maggie about the car. You know, he's being very friendly, you know, but like in a in a in a sinister type of way, you know. Uh, so yeah, again, Josh Hamilton is doing a great job playing him. He's super entertaining to watch. Um, but yeah, they go back to the hilltop and in that Daryl reveal, uh, where he tells Maggie to open up, like, I don't know, like, the, cause that was teased at the end of episode nine, if you remember. And for some reason, like in episode nine, I have to go back and rewatch episode nine, that ending, but he seemed a lot more like angry and a lot more like forceful. Like he was really trying to get in through the door. But in this episode, like, he just was, like, telling Maggie, he was, like, you know, trying to compromise with Maggie, you know, just telling her to open up and, you know, they're just going to be in and out. They're just going to look around. Um, I don't know. Was that different? I got to go back and rewatch it. Uh, but, yeah, Daryl wasn't, like, bad at all. Because when I watched episode 9, I will tell you, though, for sure, like, when after watching episode 9 and they, they teased that ending, 
because they, they teased the ending. The ending of episode nine was like what happened in this episode, where Daryl came to the hilltop and told Maggie to open up. Like, I r really thought Daryl and Maggie were going to be, like, on opposite sides. I thought something crazy was going to happen like that, but it really didn't. Like, Daryl is still, like, fully part of, you know, the hilltop, and, like, he wants to protect his friends. And I love that. I love that so much for Daryl. Uh, you know, I, it, it works for the character, obviously. And I don't think it would even work to make Daryl a bad guy. Like, there's no way Daryl would do that after going through what he did with all his friends. Like, I loved how he, how he was helping Aaron and Gabriel in the woods when Lance sent them to fight the walkers by themselves to kind of challenge them. Um, I love how Daryl hopped out, so stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, so... Uh, yeah, so we also got an F-bomb from Daryl. Uh, so that was... I th Was that the first F-bomb? I don't think it was the first, but I can't remember where the other one was, but it might be the first. It's definitely, it was probably the most aggressive one for sure. Like, that was, like, extremely aggressive. I was, like, kind of shocked when I saw that F-bomb from Daryl. But I loved how he was sticking up for the hilltop. And at the end there, things got really intense. But, you know, Lance cooled everyone down. Or, I mean, Lance sort of, like, said, okay, you know, whatever, we'll go. So he went home. Or they left. So that kind of cooled down everything. Um... And yeah, so there, there was also an interesting scene in the woods where Daryl was talking to Aaron and Gabriel and he said something is going to happen. Like he kind of predicted that because I think he was trying to warn them because the Commonwealth soldiers were around them. So I think Daryl was trying to warn um, Aaron and Gabriel like Lance has some bad plans or something, which we did see he does because at the end of this episode... Uh, Leah shows up again and, and took down some Commonwealth soldiers. And remember, she's the one who took the weapons, I think. I'm assuming. Because that's the way episode 14 ended off. Like, I think Gabriel was like, who took the weapons then? And then it cut to Leah. Um, and Lance offered Leah a job. Um, and that's where the episode ended off. But based on the little trailer we got at the, at the end of episode 15 for episode 16... It looks like this little job that Lance is offering Leah is sending Leah to go after Maggie. I think. That's what I'm assuming. Uh, because obviously Lance is upset with Maggie. He doesn't think Maggie's telling the truth about things. And obviously he's upset like Maggie didn't want to join the Commonwealth, which led the Hilltop to not join. The, or not, Yeah, I mean, yeah, the Hilltop obviously, but also the Oceanside. Oceanside didn't join the um, Commonwealth because Maggie said so. So Lance obviously has something against Maggie. So we'll see where this goes. Really, really interested. I mean, if I were to make a quick prediction, I don't really think Leah would take down Maggie. Like, I, I think I think Daryl might have to step in. But regardless, it's going to be, like, a pretty big moment, whatever happens, I think, in episode 16. I'm very, very excited about it. Uh, but I don't want to get too much into episode 16 right now and talk about predictions and stuff. I just want to talk about episode 15. Uh, but that's where the episode ended off. So overall, like I said... It was a great episode uh, because that that tension and the and the things that were going on at the hilltop that was great, you know for sure. Um, uh, and then the character stuff as well, you know, like I said, Princess and Mercer, Mercer and his sister Stephanie, uh, Carol and Ezekiel. So lots of great stuff in this episode. I really liked it. Um, and yeah, let me know. So that was the end of the episode, like I said. So let me know in the comments down below what did you think about the episode. Um, I'm definitely interested in hearing your thoughts and opinions about it in the comments down below. Uh, but as far as this video goes, I am going to wrap it up there. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. Again, let me know what did you think about the episode in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Please take care and I'll see you guys soon.